this video is going to be a chit chat more of a chit chat to be honest i'm going to be talking about so many important things affecting me right now and then affecting you guys obviously you talk about it in the comment section we're having dinner it's not a mukbang it's it's more of a chit chat video i just decided that i'm not going to wear makeup for anybody because i don't even know how to wear makeup so let's have some food and i introduce you to my favorite drink if that's something you don't mind watching trust me guys there's going to be a lot of important information please sit back relax and enjoy maybe grab your dinner as well or grab a snack whatever time is where you are so we can eat together <laughs> Hi guys welcome to my channel my name is stephanie and i'm a london based content creator i make videos in fashion and lifestyle travel food tv etc just anything that affects me to be honest and i know adds value to you i try to make it into a video so today as i said in the intro we're going to have dinner and then talk this is my favorite cider guys like cider is a drink i really really love it's like my very alcoholic okay no after baby is cider but cider is easier to drink regularly because it's not as expensive as baby's but i really love it and then this particular brand is my favorite i don't even know what company this is but it's called brothers and then the toffee apple flavor precisely so yeah for food i'm having noodles and some grilled chicken noodles with vegetables and then grilled chicken just how covid has affected me when covid started my company was still running because i work with a bank and uh, they didn't think we should quit immediately so for two weeks i was still going to work we're just like it was usually only me in the carriage on the train because my job is very really long road. so it wasn't that bad it was it was cool going to work and coming back so one friday on my way i think i just got an email saying we're not going to we're going to be off for three weeks and due to the fact that it's banking we can't really you know handle people's information and stuff at home we're going to just be at home and then we'll be paid for being at home for three weeks so that was amazing news like i was so excited because my hobby had already kind of stopped work ish so it was just like okay like this stretch of three weeks like when last in my life did i have three weeks Break. it's just unfortunate that people had to die you know as a result of covid but when i saw that three weeks break i was like oh my god the unlimited things i would do uh, stephanie the next day i already made a list of things i was going to do story how many did i keep so at least i was excited that i was able to keep up with the videos i said i was going to film that particular week like it was whole videos so it wasn't that difficult i should have kept to that one guys other things man i don't know i can't really say i've done badly this period to be honest because I've actually achieved some things I thought I wouldn't be able to do. Guys, I'm starting a business. You get, I was going to launch this business in April, my birthday. So I sorted out everything uh, that June had you know, made my final payments. My manufacturer actually telling me, hurry up, hurry up because of Chinese New Year. And then I quickly grabbed all my money and paid. So I think my item left literally just before the New Year. And then, you know, after the New Year, they just had, you know, the Wuhan coronavirus, blah, blah, blah. So my stuff actually came in goodish time i couldn't pay for air freight, so i paid for water and it came in like um like was it i think it came in february yeah i actually had my mom's first day in february but i had to clear it get vat with my company guys i'm a self-employed contractor in the uk usually with self-employment you get paid more but you don't have job security you get so you'd rather be you know fully employed in the company who's going to take care of you like now there's you know usually the, the full-time employed people were the first set of people the government actually took care of um during this period so yeah i had to shall get vat number clear the goods everything 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 and then finally goes to me like march i was like yes just in time for my birthday my birthday is april so i was going to launch them but guys how now how like how do you start telling people of a new product um that they should buy you know when people are losing their jobs people are losing their family members and stuff so i just kept quiet with you spoke to just a few friends and then i just like let's just see how things go so that's about it with the business and then yeah so i stayed home everything I don't even eat this it'll be small self. <laughs> it's so hard to eat and talk. Because I think the best the major biggest benefits of this COVID is actually my relationship because we've actually had time to spend, you know, lots of time with each other. Like some kind of random conversations are having, kind of little things that on a normal day you probably notice and just kept quiet. We'll talk about it now. Like it's a big difference and it's quite interesting. I think I'll say I've benefited from this um, pause is like starting because I was supposed to start a channel with my friend with him it's like a little channel where we talk and so okay covid has kind of stopped us from not being able to film any video but at least we've we have a name now we kind of have an instagram account we've not i've not done the youtube like we have the banner and everything but not put it up there and so so that was that's something i would say yeah i progressed in i think i wrote a couple blog posts because usually it's hard to write blog posts like if i'm not editing a picture on the train at work and or at night when i wake up 
like there's just barely time to put blog posts together so i've been able to do i think two blog posts in this time which is a good thing talking about my blog my newsletter i don't know for some reason i just can't figure that thing out i've registered it with mailchimp and i don't even know i think the blog has two ways like you subscribe i don't know whether it goes to the mailchimp but i don't just know so the thing just stresses me and the guy that helps me my ads is even tired of me it's in nigeria internet lights everything like it's just so stressful so i wish there was someone who was an it that could just come and save me especially with that newsletter thing like the newsletter for the business this, i'm sure it's easier to set up but this my blog mode is just so so stressful so my newsletter is another thing that has been stressing me that like i've tried to do it but the, my template is so ugly i don't even know the, the, the my subscribers there's a lot of spam do you get so i don't start pushing i don't even know like every time i think of that thing it just frustrates me i just push it out in the back of my head at some point this year i said i was going to have an ebook in fact i even told myself two ebooks <laughs> Mm -hmm. I have two ebooks, guys. You can't even say I've progressed. Okay, I've kind of started gathering pictures for the first one. Second one, I haven't. The second one involves going out of the house, so I've not even been able to. I've just talked about it with someone just to ginger me, just to give me some accountability. But I don't. I, I have to make a list. I don't make a list. I don't even know where I'm going. But yeah, two ebooks, sure. I've not. <laughs> I've shared got two pictures with so. Yeah, and then uh, what else? My presets. Oh my god, guys. I have presets on Lightroom. I'm designing, but I've not sat down to actually like categorize them dark skin, light skin, food, travel, you know? Or just give them a different kind of name, Shabo. I need to get a model. And I know the picture I'm going to use already, my, my um, friend Ari. I'm going to use one of her pictures that I took in one time to just show the presets on her. And then show the presets on me just because of our skin colors are different so that people can understand it. So that people can like know how the effect will be on them. I think I also have to get food and then probably one of my travel shots. Like, oh my most of my travel shots are already edited, but you yeah. know. that's another thing I need to sit up, Steph. Like I have all the presets, I just need to sit down one day and say, okay. Thing is that with Instagram content creation, like if you're putting a picture or two on Instagram one day, it takes like the whole day by the time you the video and then oh. it's like okay. That's another thing I think has been good this period. I've made ayamashi for the first time. Like I always like knew the process and stuff, but I've never made it. So I made ayamashi for the first time. I've, I've always made baga soup before, but I've made baga soup in this um, COVID. I made ayamashi twice. I fried buns, puff puff, sorry, puff puff, and I've not done banana bread yet because I don't have a nice baking pan. So that's the only thing that is lacking in the banana bread. In fact, my banana is already going off. Then Netflix, oh my gosh, I've watched a lot of Netflix. Talking about Netflix, guys, go and watch Contagion. Guys, this movie was shot in 20, 2001. I visit 2011. If you see the cast of the movie, Matt Damon, Jude Law, Gwyneth Paltrow, Kate Winslet, Marion Cotillard, Lawrence Fishburne, ETC, like all star cast. And everything in this movie is just exactly what's happening right now, like coronavirus. They didn't call it coronavirus, call it something else, but just the way it's contacted, every single thing, like that whole movie is just like right now. So I'm just like really like <laughs> you get so go and watch it, contagion. I'll put it on the description section with the maybe Netflix link if I can get a link. I don't know if Netflix can give you the link, you know, just so that you can find it and watch it. You'll be so amazed. That's about it really for how COVID has affected me. I've put a lot, done enough content creation, learned. Oh, have I learned? Okay, yeah, I was watching this um thing on the business of fashion. It was by a it's by a French school. It's a four week um thing. Just listen to videos. There's more of them that the person is speaking French, so you have to be reading paragraphs literally. But it's quite insightful. Just so it's okay. So COVID and self employment, that's the most important thing I'll tell you guys today. As I told you, I'm self employed, so I work the contracts. Luckily for me, my last contract was two years, so it wasn't hectic. You know, signed contracts are three months, six months, and then you're done. You need to now find another one. Well, the government introduced something called IR35, which was kind of like an anti tax avoidance scheme for self employed people because we when we get paid, we do our taxes at the end of the year with your accountants. You so you just declare what you think the company actually like, the profit they made, you remove your expenses and everything. But under IR35, you need to be an, under an umbrella company who is going to do your taxes for you. And that tax will, <laughs> you guys, 
normally let's say you earn 200 a day let's say like 4k a month with your um, normal self employed you're taking your whole money with the umbrella company they for them to calculate like you take your money at the end of the year you sharpen your taxes for those ones every month they'll give you something like two five so you can imagine one five just leaving you every every month when it used to come to you before it was like okay that's how we all started this whole life you can say it was really frustrating so when they brought this IR 35 as of December a lot of companies started converting all their self-employed people aka contractors to umbrella company like you literally can find they'll give you a list of umbrella companies to choose from and you you have to use one of them so a lot of people say like, should, I, should I close my company I remember my colleague actually closed this company he was just so frustrated so Covid now came Covid has started from like February March the government first of all obviously they take care of full staff they follow them follow is like when you the government takes care of 80 percent of the company's um, of the staff salary and then the company pays like 20 percent just helping the companies no, just, the government here is just amazing it's very nice it's like they're so considerate it's actually a, an economy that works that's why a lot of us want to just run and come here just to see things that work and how it works so that's how the government should took care of everybody who was serving who was full staff some of people also like crying, oh, please, what's happening? You really stopped us from any taking all our salary, putting us on that umbrella company, what's happening? And the government now came with a grant. So the grant was you just put your um, pay reference, it's your pay or your UTR, and your national insurance number. They will tell you whether you're even <laughs> eligible for it based on the taxes you had paid before, how much you had earned, how much non um, some disposable income or something was on your on your name and stuff. So I didn't even want to do it, I was just like whatever, like all these things. And my community said they were going to pay me, so I was just like, well, I don't even claim anything, you must have dragging for me later. So I just closed my ears. My husband came back from work one day, I was like, ah, he, he, sorry, he came back from, I, I think they were still working scantily. So he came back, I was like, ah, that he heard about this bounce back loan, it's for self-employed contractors who own companies. Just check it, just check it, just check it, it's a loan. I said, okay, let's go and check. So I asked my friend, my colleagues, ah, have you guys done it? Ah, one said, I've done the grant thing, I wasn't eligible, I was like, I didn't want that. But let me just try this bounce back. So I tried the bounce back. The bounce back loan, what the government now said it would do for we contractors was that whatever you earned, 25% they can give to you as a loan, which you wouldn't pay in 12 months, guys. You won't pay in 12 months. Then after the on the 13th month, you paid 2.5. <laughs> you paid 2.5 interest. Like who gives you 2.5 interest rates in the world? Like which loan, which I was like, are you kidding? So I went, wrote my, you know, banking, because my bank was on the bank to give me, my company's bank was on the bank to give me. So I shared just more details. Ah, they said, how much do you want? Ah, I put one figure. <laughs> you know, I, they, okay, when you not put the figure, they now tell you, okay, the government, I think the government was going to pay 2.5 of it for that whole year. For this year that yeah, you're not paying interest, the government is going to pay for you. So as long as you take it, you're going to pay that little money back. So let's say you take 10k, you're going to pay like 250, 50, and then you pay it on the 13th month, or you're sure going to pay it back somehow, you know. But the thing is, for that 12 months, you don't need any money from me. Like, you don't even pay anything. You're going to start paying back from the 13th month, and you pay your interest. So you calculate everything for you. I'll tell you what, you know, you're going to pay from the 13th month. Guys, I was like, ah, ah. I should have just wrote something. Left it. They said, okay, it'll take like two weeks. So that day was a Monday. The next week... Monday or something. I think I was supposed to use my business account to do something. I just went in there and saw this money sitting down. Like UK government just gave me ten k that as deaf. You have been doing business, and then what? Okay, because well, so I told them my um, turnover was because it's your bank, so you really just write you know what you want. I didn't want to go higher. I just said my turnover was whatever it is, and then I don't even want to take up ten percent. Let me just take this. You know, they just gave me obviously because it's your bank, so they already see your turnover. You know, it's not like you're going to print statements or anything. I should just put this money in there. I was like, God knows why I'm actually in a country that works, to be honest. Because when you see things that work, when you go back home, you will know how to demand for things. Guys, that's how these people took care of us. I just called all my colleagues that, you know, we're all contractors together. Please go and get your bounce back loan. You have 12 months to utilize this money. It's, if, if it's, you know, obviously, you're supposed to use to, you know, do take care of your company, anything your anything your company is lacking. Just invest in, you know, just use it properly for the benefit of your company. And this country just gave us... So from the 13th month, you should start paying your debts. If you use the money properly for your company and you don't accrue, you don't, you know, you have it to give back. You truly give it back before the 13th month. So you, the only um, interest you're paying is that one the government has used, like the 250 government has paid for us for the year, you know. So it's kind of worth it if you look at this. So guys, if you're a UK contractor, you have a company, you know, that was running, your, your books and everything was perfect as of December 31st, 2019. You are eligible for bounce back loan. This afternoon, there was another email I got about some grants again can give. 
man just check all these things out you know check all these things out it's just amazing like i'm just so thankful you know that i'm just somewhere where things happen right okay so i'm not even eating you know so yeah so that's another thing that has been heavy with covid what else has really affected me this period um i guess i've just been thinking more thinking of more value content to give you guys on my channel um i, I don't want on things to do that doesn't have to be your masters i don't know if that video will come before this one but i'm thinking i don't know you know as, as, as against masters there are other courses you can do that will be more beneficial for you especially going forward with the way life is right now because artificial intelligence cloud cloud if you're in it man, this is actually a good time just that with it courses you always have to recertify yourself and stuff like that but then again with everything in life you need to be better you know content creation okay yeah that's what, something i planned for my instagram every thursday i want to do like a, an mg homegrown shout out or two like small businesses african owned or african affiliated like i worked with charity one yesterday and they work with african farmers in 11 different african countries so it was a very very great cause before then um, i did with another but i can't remember yeah okay i have this little content creation job so some little jobs that shall come but this one was something that would, came before I thought she just find it and then do some posts for them on Instagram. It's Vogue means a um, sunglasses thing, but apparently they do scars as well. Very beautiful. I can't wait to style that one and take pictures. Yeah, so contact creation is great. And then, yeah, so with the, with the um, uh, Metro Gips in my Instagram channel, I want to, my Instagram um, page, yeah, I want to be shouting out small businesses based in Africa or owned by Africans. And then I'll keep you guys posted with my brand. Um, there's no point talking much about it now until we launch to get about yeah, there's something in the pipeline So um, I, I clearly know it's in more. I'll probably eat after this video. So thank you guys so much for watching Please just let me know what you're up to if you have any comments or anything I said Please let me know if you have any questions on how to grow in any aspect of your life that I think I can help That you think I can help. Yeah, let me know and I'll definitely give you great comments. So yeah then I have to put off this. Do you know I should actually be able to control this? Thing? Okay, yeah, what I've been watching on YouTube, on Netflix, I've been watching my French course. <laughs> when I wake up, I try to watch a bit of it. My fashion course, sorry. And then... RuPaul's Drag Race. Guys, if you don't watch RuPaul's Drag Race, you should. It's so amazing. The co it's such a confidence booster. It's such an inspiring show, fashion-wise. And then even wit-wise. Like, they're so smart and they have so much wit on the show. So, I would need to... Because I'm so far from the camera, I just really love, like, the way this camera focuses on my beautiful face. That's why I wanted to use it to film today. And my husband is not, uh, it's not at home. Once he's not home, it's so easy to film. Like, am I the only one that finds it easy to film when I'm alone in the house like i don't have a mic so i really, literally need to scream and if you say if you think you're disturbing everybody please that's it um thank you so much for watching this video to this point if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much i love you if you're not please subscribe and then click the bell so you'll be able to get notifications every time i post. drop a comment because i love to read from you if all else fails just click the thumb up button see you guys on the next episode Bye bye mm -hmm.